Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today we're going to take a look at the Battle Gear 2 mod. It adds in a dual wielding and a shielding feature into Minecraft. I've actually never seen a mod where I can like fight with two weapons at the same time. And also they added in a bunch of very unique weapons into the mod. So let's get started. The first one is the daggers. So you can make a dagger out of any of the normal Minecraft materials. Wood, stone, iron, diamond, and gold. So basically these are weaker than a normal diamond sword, but they're a little bit quicker. And the recipe for them is pretty much all the same. So it's a stick with the material above it. So it's kind of cheap to make too, so it's a nice weapon to have. So I'm going to show you guys how to fight with like all these different weapons. Some of them have very unique abilities. So the next weapon is the War Axe. And this one looks really powerful, but it actually does the same damage as a dagger does. The thing about it is you can actually hit through armor. So if you're playing a mod with like a boss that has diamond armor on, it's definitely going to do a lot more damage than a sword would. The recipe is two sticks like that and four iron ingots. So it is kind of expensive to make these and of course all the recipes are pretty much the same. The next weapon is probably one of the coolest ones in my opinion. And that one is the mace. And this one's a little bit stronger than the dagger and the war axe, but not quite as strong as a sword. The cool thing is though, you can actually daze your target, like they can't move for one second. You can see they all have a different percentage. Like if you make a wood one, it has a 5% chance of working, stone 10%, iron 15, diamond 20, and gold 25. But of course, you know, the durability on gold is not so good. So if you want to make a diamond mace, the recipe would be one stick and four diamonds. Of course, it's pretty expensive because being able to stun an opponent is really useful in Minecraft. This mod also adds in spears, and these do the same damage as a dagger and a war axe. The cool thing is though, you can actually fight from pretty far away with them, and also if you're on a horse, you're going to do extra damage with it. So the recipe for this one is a little bit different. The first thing you need to craft is the wood spear. So that one, you just need three sticks like that, and then you use that to craft the other things. So if you want to make a diamond one, you take the wood spear and put one diamond there. So it's really not too expensive to make this one at all. Probably one of the most important things to show you guys is the shields. And there are five different types. And they all block for a certain amount of time. The wood shield for one second. The hide shield for one and a half. The iron for three. The diamond, which is the best one, for five seconds. And the gold shield for two seconds. And they actually all have different recipes, so I'm just going to show you guys all of them. The wood one. is just made out of wood, so really easy to make that one. The hide shield, wood in the middle, and you surround it with four leather like that. The iron shield, wood in the middle, and six iron ingots like that. The diamond shield, wood in the middle once again, and five diamonds. And the last one, the gold shield. So wood like that, and five gold ingots, and you can make this shield. There actually is some customization with the shields too. Like if you want to change the color, you can. Like I'm going to grab this diamond shield, and I'm going to show you guys how to fight with all the weapons now. But first, I'm going to dye one. And what color should we dye it? We'll dye it, we'll dye it blue. All right, so all you have to do is put it like this, put it next to some blue dye, and now it's kind of like blue plated. You can still see the diamond part, but you can see that it's blue in the middle. And if you want to get rid of it, all you need is a water bucket. And now it'll be back to its normal diamond shield. So you can dye any color. A little customization is always nice with this kind of stuff. All right, guys, so there is a special inventory with this mod. So you have to eye like that, and now it opens up this interface. And you can actually switch between like three different weapons at the same time. So I'm going to put some stuff on. I am going to put on an iron spear and I'm going to wear it with a diamond shield. So whatever you put on the side is the one you're going to wear it with. So for this one, I'll put a gold mace and I'll wear that with a wood shield. And you can actually, you know, wield two weapons at the same time too. So I'll put the iron war axe there and also the iron dagger. So now if I press R, it switches me to these other like um, task bars on the bottom of the screen. And I can easily switch between what I am wearing. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in, we'll spawn in a couple spiders right here. I'll hit R again. And now I'm going to fight them. With my iron spear, you can see I can hit from pretty far away with it. Like right from here. From that far range, it's actually pretty good. And the next one I'm going to let hit me and I'm going to defend with my shield. So I can right click. And you can see how like the bar is going down like that. That's how long I can like hold it for. So I can defend for quite a while with the diamond shield, which is a big advantage. And it goes back up pretty quickly too. The shield also has a special move if you use Z. So I'm going to spawn in an iron golem. I think it might be easiest to do it against him. I'm going to hit R and go back to my shield right here. I'm going to hit him once. 
And now, if I hit Z when he's near me, it should push him back, which is not that easy to do. Okay, there we go. I just pushed him back, and you can see it actually, like, uses some of your shield bar right here. But yeah, I can hit him from pretty far away. It's a big advantage having um, this weapon. He can't even get to me if I'm, like, fighting the whole time just because of the spear. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you the difference between the two shields. So I'm going to switch to my diamond one and defend. And I've got, like, five seconds, which is plenty of time to deflect pretty much anything that comes at me. But if I have my wooden shield, it barely lasts long at all. I've got one second. Like, look how quick that went down. It's pretty ridiculous. So now we are fighting with our mace, which has a chance of stunning our opponents. And you're going to notice they get all kinds of, like, status effects on them when you actually do it. My luck is pretty terrible from the looks of it. I've really been struggling to get it to work. It's worked a couple times, but I swear I've hit mobs like a hundred times to actually do it. Alright guys, I went into creative. That way I can actually like show it really easily. Oh, I stunned him first try. Awesome, finally. I hit so many mobs, and it didn't work until right now. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you the dagger and the war axe. And the weird thing is you can't actually fight with both at the same time. Like you can right click and left click like this, which is what I want to do. Like, he's fighting the cactus right now. Stop. Get away from that. Killed him. Um, but yeah, if you hit both like this, it doesn't do double damage like I would hope it would. Like, right here. Bam. Only hit him once. So you can't really fight like that, which kind of sucks. But um, you definitely can, like, switch back and forth between weapons that have an advantage, like, against a specific mob. So let me spawn in a couple more right here. And the thing is, when you use the dagger, it attacks a little bit quicker than a sword does. I don't know if you can actually tell or not, but you can not attack a tiny bit quicker than you can with a sword. And the other weapon can hit through armor. So if you're fighting a zombie that happens to be wearing some armor, it should hit right through that and do a little bit more damage. Other than the cool fighting style in this mod, you can actually make chainmail in a different way. So what you can do is get two iron ingots, and that crafts right into three chain. And then you can craft a chain helmet. Chain chest plate, leggings, and boots. And the recipe for these is the same as normal Minecraft. You see, now you can make it with fire, and you could also make it with chain. Which, honestly, thinking about it, really makes sense. You should be able to do that in normal Minecraft anyway. But yeah, guys, that's about all there is to show with this mod. You can now dual wield in Minecraft, and you can even block with a shield. If you want to check this out, the download is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.